and we talked about Justin Fields in the past. You know how I feel about him. He was only getting better in Chicago. And it, it was very, very slow progression. But he was getting better. And um, a lot of it had to do with the situation around him. You said it perfectly. I mean, he was switching offensive coordinators every year. He could never make a relationship with somebody that could just help him and put him under his wing and be like, hey, dude, we're going to get you to a top starting position in this league, and it just never happened. So now we have Justin Fields in Pittsburgh alongside with Russell Wilson. We have oh Arthur Smith as their offensive coordinator over there, which is just amazing, isn't it? And there's a lot of Atlanta players over there in Pittsburgh, and they're paying $4.5 million for this quarterback room, which is fantastic considering how well their defense has done in these past couple of years, especially bringing them to the playoffs this past year. And we got to take Arthur Smith into consideration. But I want to ask, can we see Russell Wilson and Justin Fields coexist in this Pittsburgh offense is it going to be just Russell Wilson? Is it going to be just Justin Fields? Are we going to actually see them both come into the, this play and see what happens? Because although, like, if Justin Fields plays 51% of his snaps, we see they're going to have to up, up that sixth-round pick to a fourth-round pick. So I'm thinking Pittsburgh is going to make sure he does not pay play 51%. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I'm just saying that on the business end, I feel like that's what they would do. But we'll see, Nate. We see them coexisting in the backfield, or is it going to be unhealthy? What's going on? Um, it's a great question. Uh, I think Mike Tomlin did a great job when he came out and uh, said, you know, again, that Russell Wilson was a starting quarterback. Um, again, but Justin Fields has actually kind of come out on our record saying he's ready to compete for the quarterback number one job, even though – Mike Tomlin has said that Russell Wilson, there's no quarterback controversy that he's going to be the quarterback. He's the quarterback one, and, and Justin Fields will be backing him up. Now, I think one of the beautiful things about this is Pittsburgh is going to win-win because they're paying $4 million for these two talented players. Um, yet the reality of it is it only matters. The only thing that matters is wins and losses. This Pittsburgh team, if I'm not mistaken, they just made the playoffs again, right? Um, and, again, Russell Wilson is coming off of he had a good statistical year, but his fit wasn't he, he's not the type of quarterback that Sean Payton for that offense. Russell Wilson is a quarterback that, you know, needs the run game, run game action to open it up for the intermediate routes and the deep shots. Um, I really feel that. Whoever is the best quarterback that gives him the best chance of winning is going to win. That we can talk about the business aspect of it. Oh, well, if Justin Fields plays 51% of the snaps, he's going up, the, the, the draft pick up goes up. If Justin Fields is the quarterback that is leading the Pittsburgh Steelers in that offense for wins, then then you take it for what it is. But if Russell Wilson is the guy that's, that's actually leading and commanding the offense, again, all it's about, only thing that matters is teams winning. This is the reality of the game. You know what? Can you lead this offense? Can you can you get these guys to rally behind you? Can you lead this team and this franchise? That's what it's all about. We we can't get so caught up in and the um the hype of the the quarterback competition and whatnot. Both of these guys want to win. Both of you guys want to be the the, the quarterback. But the only way you're going to be able to prove that is in game like practice situations. You have to show up. There's a thing. There's a saying. Please forgive me for saying this, but this was, it, it has been said to me by a gentleman by the name of Bill Parcells, um, my rookie year. And it's been said about, to other people, it's if you're going to shit or you're going to get off the pot. Somebody's got to do the job. And the only way you're going to do the job is when you get out there and you get your moment, your opportunity. Let's see how the offense runs. Let's see how the players relate to you. Let's see how your play and your performance is. That's the only thing that matters. And Mike Tomlin is a fair man, a fair coach in that aspect where he's, listen, each year, it's not about what you did last year. It's what you're doing this year in this moment. And the number one thing each team wants to do, you want to make it to the playoffs because that's the only way you can compete for a Super Bowl. But you have to have 
the, the ball running and, and your engine, the cylinders running good on your team. And again, I, I'm expecting a, a great co quarterback competition with these guys. Can they coexist? Yes, they can. Because only thing that matters is wins. If you are a true competitor, only thing that matters is winning. You want to go out there and start? Yes. That's the pride. That's the pride. Yet, if this guy is better than me, you tip your hat and I'll be your eyes. Because guess what? You never know what's going to happen in the season. This is a violent game. We've seen Aaron Rodgers play for, what, 30 seconds in a Jets uniform. <laughs> After they acquired him and you just thought Zach Wilson was going to be but you never know what's going to, to what's going to happen. I can say the same thing about Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, there was um, who who did they have? They had Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy G, and what was the other quarterback? Trey Lance. Trey Lance. They both got went it. down. They both went down. Brock Purdy's got his opportunity, and he came in and took it. Say the same thing about Dak Prescott. That when Dak Prescott took over, it was because Tony Romo hurt his back. Uh, was it his back? Was oh, it his collarbone? The collarbone or his back? He broke his collarbone like three times. I can't even remember when it was. Okay, you know, but it regardless, was regardless. He was injured. It was un it was an unfortunate injury. We have to. This, this is what comes with the game. The nuances of the game. You know, so you never know when your moment is going to come. It's not about you know. It's not about all this other outside noise. As a teammate and as a competitor. Only thing that matters is what we're doing because when we win, we all win. Well, Nate, this is and, and we'll say like Justin Fields probably has had his opportunities to to show out or go out, but look, Nate, this is my mindset if I'm Justin Fields, and you said it perfectly. Mike Tomlin said, Hey, Russell Wilson, with his resume, with his veteran yeah. leadership, with his yeah. experience, he's going to be our starter this coming year in Pittsburgh. We don't have to pay him much, and it's perfect. The money's there. I mean, you have statistically the best chance at playing for a championship due mm -hmm. to how your money is worked out in Pittsburgh. But you have a the worst play caller in 2023 as your offensive coordinator. But this is my mindset if I'm Justin Fields. I hear these words, Russell Wilson will start. That has to light a fire in me. And make me want to go out there and prove yes. there that I can still play at a starting level in the NFL. Yes. I was only getting better in Chicago, but yet Chicago did not want me. Jared Goff in Los Angeles. Los Angeles did not want Jared Goff. They traded him to Detroit. Look what Jared Goff has been able to accomplish in Detroit with that, with Dan Campbell, let's let's say that he's had the head coach these years. Let's see. Although Pittsburgh probably will not get rid of Mike Tomlin anytime soon, let's see what consistency can do to Justin Fields before we say this guy's a bust. This guy cannot start in the NFL. Let's see what happens. Now, Arthur Smith is not a good good look for Pittsburgh. I don't know why they got Arthur Smith. It makes me scratch my head. I don't know what they see in Arthur Smith. Other than the only thing I can explain with Arthur Smith is the players he has been able to bring in in Pittsburgh. We've seen Van Jefferson, Scotty Miller, uh, McCall Pruitt, Cordero Patterson. All four of those guys are Atlanta Falcons. That was somewhat, now Cordero Patterson, more than all of them, was in their offensive system somewhat, some way. Mike Tomlin's looking at that like, okay, maybe we can bring this guy in. And we've said it earlier, just because you have the title doesn't mean you're going to have the responsibilities of what that title brings. Now, Arthur Smith, he's the OC. Is he actually going to call the shots? Probably not. He was the worst play caller last year of 2023. But we can see his value in bringing in these players that Mike Tomlin says maybe we can kind of mesh them some way or somehow in this offense. Now, if we see Russell Wilson and Justin Fields coexisting in this P Pittsburgh offense, we can say we have seen Justin Fields' success with running the ball. How is that going to work in Pittsburgh? 
And, and what I like to say is, hey, when these teams have to go and play Pittsburgh the week prior and have to prepare for this, they're not just preparing for Russell Wilson, but they're also preparing at what Justin Fields can do in that Pittsburgh offense. I don't know if it's going to be success. I hope Justin Fields finds success because of how much he's dogged on, especially on this media company. But I just feel like he hasn't been in the right situation, and that's all that has to happen with Justin Fields. I think he can be something. Yeah. But someone's got to sculpt him into it. You you don't have a, 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 a slab of stone and said, hey, that's art right there. It's going to take time. It's going to take sculpting. And maybe, maybe it might just be something – Michelangelo put out there in a museum. 